So now the mold is complete. We've got these two halves. We've got the fish out of it. We've got the fish skinned. I made a solution up to put the skin in. We removed the head, which I will later build an additional mold of so we can go on side all the mouth in intricate detail. The, you know, it's got two rows of teeth on the upper uh, jaw and you know, just hundreds and hundreds of teeth. And all that'll be molded in silicone rubber and then cast. So and you know we the, so we had to remove the head and it's being it's been frozen. We'll do that separately. The skin was then put into a tanning solution and left for 24 hours. And of course that solution once it penetrates the skin, then the skin comes out is rinsed off. The skin is in the freezer waiting for this skin mounting that we will be doing of the the gar itself. So we're going to do the true taxidermy. You know, taxi, dermy, move, skin, the two Latin words, you know, meaning taxidermy. That will be that actual finished product. The mold, of course, will go on to give us duplications. That's what we're looking forward to. That's where it's really fun to duplicate, you know, these fish in fiberglass. And so the two mold halves, when I hold them up, and I've taken a few photos, you know, people want to see it. So you hold them up, and you can really see how big this thing is, because I'm... I'm a little over six foot tall, and and these these two mold halves sort of tower two and a half feet higher than I am, so you can really see they're incredibly. It's huge, you know. It's just a huge fish. It's like a boat, you know. It's that big. So, I mean, it's just incredible. What a what a creature! I'm telling you, prehistoric is is saying it lightly. I mean, it looks like a dinosaur. It's incredible. I mean, it's really incredible. All those teeth, those scales. I mean, it looks like it's made out of armor plating. It's really cool. What a beautiful and ugly creature. <laughs> it's cool. It's fabulous. I can't wait to get it finished. I really can't.